Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? It's your boy Q. You know who back, back, back with another video. Thank y'all for kicking it with your boy Q today. Guys, welcome back to the channel. You see, we got red here all cleaned up, looking good. So, actually, today, guys, I'm about to go meet up with a guy I ran into at a, one of the shows meet last year. And he hit me up like, hey, bro, let's link up and do a video. He has a beautiful truck. So, on our way right now um, to go meet him. But before we do that, let's go ahead and get red old Cold Star here. Man, here we go. <laughs> Also, as y'all know, while it's warming up, we got the windshield tinted, guys. That is 35% on there now. You can't see nothing in there, bro. And real quick, guys, I know a lot of y'all hit me up, bro, about linking up and doing videos and hanging out. And I'm, I'm totally for that. But if I have never met you, just got to understand from my standpoint, just one-on-one, -on -one, if I never met you before, and if I go to your profile page and I don't see no pictures of you, you don't have no profile pictures, you know, you may not even have a picture of a truck. You know, for me, I'm like, I don't really know you. So it's, it's kind of hard. I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but you just got to think about it too from my perspective. I always try to tell people I'm going to be, a, I usually try to do cars and Katina and things like that, meeting at meets like that first. And then once we meet that way, I can, you know, we meet each other, then I'm willing to do some one-on-one. -on -one. Now there's literally a cop right next to me. <laughs> and that's why I roll down my windows. I'm like, man, he literally, me and him at the front at the light, but he on his computer. Let me see if I can show him. He right over there, bro, like, Right there in the mirror, bro. Look, there you go. <laughs> I rolled my windows down so fast, bro. Here go our boy pulling in now. Ooh, that thing is nasty, my boy. Q, man. Joey, nice, to, nice meet to meet you, bro. The truck is nasty, dude. Yeah, All right, guys. So we just about to, you want to go wash it off? Yeah, we can. All right, you want to go wash it off real quick, and then we go link up for the video. I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me Finally I met up with his Joey, right? Yes sir And then I met a Joey right here And then here you are Angel. Angel. So that's your, you said cousin? Yes, sir. Yeah. That's his cousin. Joey, Joey, go ahead, introduce yourself. I'm uh, tell him about your IG and stuff too. Hey, I'm Joey, 6'7". Right. This is my 2013 Dodge Ram. First of all, the truck is freaking dope as hell. If y'all see it rolling down the interstate, bro, I promise you it's wide as man. So first of all, bro, let's go ahead. You said, so what year again, my bad? 2013. 2013. All right, let's go ahead and talk about, let's start with performance. What you got done to the truck so far? Right now, I'm on oh, the third gen. my bad. Oh, scratch that. He was supposed to be holding the camera, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> what you got done performance? So right now, I'm on a Third gen location turbo. It's okay. a 64 mil okay. VGT. Um, it's got a third gen head with a stage two cam on it. It's in cam? Yeah, it's a, it's a cam. It's got no, a Hamilton it. cam on it. Okay, okay. And it's got Hamilton rockers okay. and bigger injectors in it. Dang. With all that, we come here, Luke. Come here, come here, come here. We got the Hellcat badge, right? So he just went through. You got his off on this thing or what? Yeah, it's five inch all the way to the back with the chrome elbow. Five inch all the way to the back with a chrome. What's a chrome elbow? You got a. It's uh. We can show them what that is. It's one of these chrome elbows. Oh, right here, chrome elbow. So it's that's a, called a chrome elbow? Yeah, it's a okay. degree. Okay, okay. So that's is that a diesel thing or a truck? Because I don't have a diesel. I got, you it's know. It's a cleaner look. Okay, cleaner so, look. Because you know how some people put obnoxious tips on it? Yeah. It's a lot cleaner. Okay. It's factory. Okay. I like factory looks. Gotcha. So yes. you like factory. Mm -hmm. So with that factory, you got the Hellcat. So back to yeah. this. So with, which, with the mods you just said, how much horsepower are you making? About turned up all the way 500 to 600. 500 to 600 horsepower, bro. <laughs> and I can tell you guys, just coming down the interstate on the way over here, I headed to car wash thing sounds really, really good. <laughs> 600 horsepower, how many pound feet of torque? Do you know? Mm, not sure. You're not sure. You're not sure. So, but it's a diesel. So, this, this boy, you said spin tires. Yeah, it will spin the tires. Talking about tires, spinning tires. We're talking about spinning tires. What size tires you got out here? It's what a, brand and what size? It's a Venom uh, MT, okay. uh, 33 by 30, uh, oh. what was that, 33? 33, 1350Rs, okay. 24 by 14 on two inch spacers. 24, 14, two inch spacers, American Forces? Yep. 
Dang. So you oh you running a spacer. Yeah. So basically like twenty four by sixteen. Yeah, basically right now it is. Golly, come show how wide this thing is, bro. Like if you get from the front, <laughs> like look how wide this thing is, bro. Like it is nasty, guys. It is dope. But real quick, I want to turn the camera around. Hold up. Let me take Angel. Angel's filming for me back here, bro. It's first time ever having, man. Say what's up, bro. What's up, man? Yeah, so I appreciate him doing that for us, guys. He really back here filming, man. I appreciate it. So this thing is hella wide. He says spin tires, 600 horsepower. Not sure about pound feet of torque, but it's a diesel. Have you always been diesel I've gasser? Always, I grew up. My first truck was a 1993 Dodge diesel. Diesel? Yeah. So diesel, to, diesel for life. Yeah, diesel for life. Dang, that's crazy, bro. I haven't had a diesel yet, but I heard like once you go diesel, you, know, you can't go back. You can't go back. That's like once you go black, you don't go back. That's what they say, baby. Right? <laughs> What about the tent? That's the first. I know y'all probably saw the tent in the yeah. video. What's your tent set up? The on tent the right now is 20 ceramic, uh -huh. and the, all the way around is double five percent, and the back is five percent. So double five, and what? Mm -hmm. The windshield double five too? Uh, no, that's gonna be 20 of ceramic over. 20 of ceramic, man. Look how dark it is. So you can, like show the windshield, bro. Like that is ridiculous. Like you can't even see anybody in there. Like no. <laughs> now, let me ask you. So with the tent being that dark. You don't get ticket cops mess with you? I've only got pulled over twice for it. Twice? Twice. And how long you had this on here? Uh, about two years. So so I say that because I just put 35 on my truck. If mm -hmm. you show them like how dark it is, a lot of people say, oh, it's too dark. Mm -hmm. You know, Q don't go that dark. But he said he had this on here for two years and then got messed with two times. Two times. So yep. there you go. They don't really care about that in Texas, bro. No. No, they, they really don't. And you in a truck, they really, if you was like in a Dodge Charger, yeah. they would bother you. But yeah. in trucks, they don't really, they don't no, really bother I've, us. I've passed state troopers. They haven't bothered me one bit. See, there you go, guys. So if you worry about the tent, well, it depends on your state laws. In yeah. Texas, they pretty cool with it. Guys, so he was saying the only reason I might get pulled over for my tent on my truck, I'll show him, we can walk over here, Angel, is because he said I cut out the tag right here. But I, I was told you, you want to yeah. do that. But yeah, no, no, don't do that. No, no. Why not? That, that attracts the cops. Does it? Yeah. That immediately know that your windshield's tinted. Dang, I thought you were supposed to do that. Go, go look at his. We're going to show him their tent over here on his real quick. <laughs> okay, so that's how my Camaro was. Mm -hmm. I just had a tent. And you can see his sticker is, is pretty dark. So you said don't do that draw attention. No. Oh man, it do look kind of funky, ain't gonna lie. Yeah, Cause you have a black windshield. Black windshield is just white. That white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what you got done to it as far as like any color matching painting you do? I got the front end color match. I got okay, my guy end. from Manny's Customs that built my headlights out of Dallas. Okay, you got an Instagram for him? Uh, yeah, his uh, Instagram's called Manny's Customs. All right, send it to me and I'll put it in the okay. video so y'all have it just in case you're wondering. Okay. So you got the, you said the headlights? Headlights, grill, bumper, and valence. Okay. And then my mirrors are all paint matched and my door handles are all paint matched. Dang, go ahead. So you can show them some shots of the grill. Yep. They got the Ram emblem painted. Okay. Paint matched. Okay. And then I did the rear fifth gen swap bumpers on the rear oh we gotta see that too i won't get in the front of the shot then the, the headlights are dope he did a really good job the headlights. yeah he, did, he does a pretty good job yeah and the bumper is color matched as well and what were you saying about the back bumper it's a fifth here? gen rear swap oh okay let's take a look fifth gen rear swap so i'm not a i'm not a dodge guy so what gen is your job your this dodge? is a fourth gen okay fourth gen yeah and this is a fourth gen rear i got a limited tailgate on it oh I ain't gonna lie, when you when you put it out in front of me, like that, that's nasty. So hold up. This is not tailgate to come with your truck? No, no, no. This is this is a sport. This is a sport oh, tailgate yeah. that I you put ran okay. into a tree and Oh <laughs> So I had to find a tailgate. So <laughs> How you run into a tree? Uh I had the tailgate down and yeah. uh, boom. Ah, I got you, I got you. Dang. So you got a tailgate swap and a bumper swap. Yep. I like the bumper. It's really nice yeah, actually. I, I really like, like I that. I like how it looks better. Yeah, it does. It looks pretty clean. You yeah. think about doing a... Uh, Think about doing a hitch? Uh, no, I'm actually gonna delete the hitch. I don't tow trailers. Oh, really? I only tow gooseneck trailers. Okay. Oh, he yeah. said he only tow gooseneck. Only tow gooseneck. Y'all heard the man. Oh, I see you got the gooseneck set up right there. Yeah. Okay. We talked about the performance. We talked about the setup. So with the wheels and tires, to run this wheel and tire, what kind of suspension you got on here? So on the front end, I have a three and a half. And then on the half. rear, it's dropped on the rear with drop shackles. Okay. So it's lowered in the back more than the front okay so three and a half up front and then you said what how, how many what size is the drop shack on the uh, back one one in the back mm -hmm. so it got a nice a nice lean to, lean it. to it so so if you step back angel you can kind of see the joy in the video you can kind of see you got a nice little toot to it i like to call it like a little squat i like yeah. it personally like i like the squat man it looks pretty pretty good in my opinion yeah it's not fully squatted no 
but it looks good. Hey, you know, you heard this is kind of off top. You heard they made like squat laws now. To yeah, where, in South Carolina, North Carolina. Yeah, yeah, like they got. I just saw it on TikTok, mm -hmm. bro. It's like squat laws where you got. I don't know what the law is, but basically they kill squatting trucks. Yeah. And you said North Carolina, South Carolina. South Carolina, North Carolina. So North Carolina, South Carolina. That's kind of crazy. So yeah, yeah, it's kind of dangerous because, bro, you really can't like see. This. You There's, can't see nothing in front of you. You yeah, know. No. But anyway, but uh, along with the uh, suspension, bro, I see you got a nice color to it right yeah, here. What color? Is, what color did you choose? You, that is candy teal. Candy That's teal. What they call it. It's really nice color. It's yeah. really pretty color. So bro. I got it on there and then my yep. track bars, and I'm just waiting for some other stuff to get yeah, back coated. And the track bars is dope too, man. How do you like the track bars? Uh, it rides a lot smoother. Huh? It rides a lot smoother. Does it really? Yeah. Let's keep the back end like really hot, stiff. stiff. Yeah. It's that causes so you won't get wheel hot. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what I heard. So, okay. So, so you probably need that, too. That much horsepower you putting down and all yeah. things like that. Damn, I just noticed this, bro. I ain't see this, spikes. Angel. Yeah, the spikes, man. <laughs> look at this. What's that? So what's that? Just aesthetics? Just to look good? Yeah, just to look good when you're looking inside the wheel wells. That's actually pretty dope. Some little details here and there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you going to think about doing your uh, uh, powder do, your leaf springs? Well, actually, I'm going to do a bag rear. A bag rear? Oh, you're going to do, do bags? Four links on it. Okay, so what that mean? I hear people on four links. So basically a four link is is basically what's in your front suspension. Okay. So basically you move a front suspension to the rear oh. and with the with the track bar. Oh. And then you put your bags on it. Okay. Okay. So, That's dope. That's dope. I don't know if you know Javi. He's the one with the uh Javi. he's Mr. Longhorn. Oh yeah, I know him. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We're gonna do something like this to this. Okay, shout out to Javi, man. Yeah, I know Javi, he probably, yeah. if he watched the video, man, shout out to Javi, I know him for sure. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be dope, man. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see that. So along with that, bro, the suspension look good. I know y'all seen the wheel lights. So what's yeah. your wheel and rock light setup? So one of my buddy Taylor Wilson built those wheel lights. Okay. And then I installed the rock lights all by myself, me and him. Okay. It's about thirty-five of them in total. Thirty-five rock and lights. Quad row wheel lights. So you got thirty-five rock. How many you got in the wheel well? Just two. And Just two. Plenty. Two, two each wheel well. Two each wheel well. And then they must all be like. Um, I'm guessing under the cab. Yeah, under the cab, they're all under the rockers. Okay. And okay. And I got two in the rear frame, and then two in the middle frame. Okay. And two in the front bumper. Dang. So 35 rod lights, and then quad row. You said quad row wheel lights. Quad row wheel lights. Show Angel if you can get in there. So we talk about lighting, guys. So he said he got LED switchbacks. Oh, that's nasty. That's dope. That's really really dope. I got really the sequential shifting on that. Yeah. That's dope. What's the future plans for the truck? I know we talked, you say you go, I, I, I bought that up because mm -hmm. the LED sequential. I know you say you want to do the- I'm gonna do the door the, handle switchbacks. Door handle switchbacks as and well. I'm gonna do the turn signal switchbacks. Okay. And then I'm probably gonna paint all my wheel wheels white. Oh, for real? Yeah. That's gonna be dope. So, I ain't never. I don't think I ever seen that before, bro. It's pretty clean. It makes your wheel lights, uh, wheel lights pop. Out. Ah, lights that pop makes out. sense. So basically, he's saying he goes, all this gonna be white up in here. Yeah, gonna be white. Mm -hmm. Got you. And then what about uh? How do you feel about the the sequential? Oh, you got it right here too. I just saw the light up yeah. here too. How do you feel about the sequential ring rock lights? I mean, not rock lights. Wheel lights. Wheel lights. You seen those? Yeah, they're pretty nice. I think that's pretty cool too. Uh, yeah. Yeah. If y'all ain't seen, I seen a few people run that, bro. It's pretty cool. Have you seen the twenty row wheel light? 20 row wheel lights? Yeah. Nah, I ain't seen that before. Yeah. Who got it? I got it. Uh, North Georgia Lighting. North Georgia Lighting. Yeah. You say 20 ring. Yeah, you have to have like a special inverter just to have those wheel lights. What? I got to see that. You got to yeah. send that to me, bro, yeah, when we wrap bro. up here, bro, for sure. I think we covered everything. You said we can go for a ride? Yeah, we can go for a ride. All right, so you just going to go for a little loop real quick. I don't know if I'm going to leave my truck right here. I'm probably moving up front. I wouldn't. You say you wouldn't? I'll probably move it up, but yeah, it's a gym. gym yeah, 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 it's a gym up here. And we just gonna go for a quick ride, just ride along. I've never been in a diesel, bro, and I've never been in a 2500. It's 20, that's a 2500, 2500. right? 2500. 2500, just so y'all know. I hope y'all knew that we said it was a diesel, so. Are you roll coal? No, I have clean tunes. What they mean? Clean tunes are just like, you have healthy fuel. Stuff ah, like that. So you don't like the black, none of that black no, smoke stuff? it gets dirty in the back. They'll ah, throw here a little. Ah, okay, I didn't know that. So yeah. it's called and clean tunes? it's not tune? turned up. Okay, I'm on okay. Stock tune right now like is that why you say like stop mat yeah stop mat okay stop. got you okay okay cool man all right yeah, we're gonna do a quick ride along guys i hope y'all come along for the ride ain't you filming or you want to be in the back filming or front i'll be in the back all right ain't gonna be in the back film all right here we go we inside the the big diesel yeah. <laughs> actually bro what i noticed the tent don't look that dark y'all look like the windshield no oh oh man oh he pissed at you bro look at him <laughs> He jealous, guys. Yeah, he a is. lot of people don't like the big truck. Some people think it's annoying as hell. Dang. <laughs> oh, this moves, bro. I just faster than my truck for sure. Oh, this moves out, man. Listen to this thing. Yo, I 
change. I don't know how this gonna come up on the mic because we got the mics on us. Uh -huh. But it's all good. But it's all good. Hopefully it caught it. Well, I'm gonna say though, bro. But like the tent guys, y'all see, it's not that dark from inside. Is it dark at nighttime for you? Uh, just a little bit. Just yeah. a little bit. Yeah. But how old are you? Uh, I'm 19. 19? Yes. I'm about to be 20 this Friday. No. What well, happy birthday, bro? Guys, yeah, so he's 20 years old with a beautiful truck. But I would say, I would ask you how old you are because you got them young eyes then, bro. <laughs> you know, 19. Yeah. So you start getting older like me, mm -hmm. it gets a little harder to see at night, you know? Yeah. Another thing I would ask you, how's it, uh, how much trimming and cutting did you have to do, bro? I didn't do any trimming. No trimming, no, no trimming. cutting? No, nothing. I don't what? like cutting. He said, I don't like cutting. Um, and what about turning radius? So, turn, how, uh, I can do, I can't do a full turn. Can't? No. So you get like, what, half a turn? And, yeah, half turn will be good. Damn, that's crazy. See, that's the only thing about running a big setup, guys. Like, just the, so you, do you think it's worth it, though? Uh, it's worth it. It's, it's worth it. It's worth breaking necks. <laughs> Facts. Hey, it definitely do break some necks, man. I'm not gonna lie. This thing is freaking yeah. dope. So hold on, I know a lot of people go ask. I'm gonna ask this myself, I'm not trying to count coins. So, but to be 20 years old, bro, what do you do, like, to, a lot of people say, what do you do to reform stuff? So a lot of people think, like, daddy money, right? Uh, I actually own my own company. It took over my dad's company, and we do full house remodels. Oh. So, that's what he does, guy. He has his own business. A lot of people, a lot of people, what I, what I found, bro, a lot of people look at these trucks, and they say, how do you afford that? Yes. You work, man. Yeah, you got to work for what you want. Exactly, bro. There, there's no secret to it, man. It's, it's just hard work, bro. You know, a lot of people see you, they probably don't, they see the truck, they see you now, they probably don't know what you have to do to get to it. Yeah, yeah. You know? If you don't mind sharing, how much you say you got into it? Roughly about 40 grand. 40? About 40 grand. Oh, man, 40 G, something. Yeah. Dang, that's that's up there. Yeah, it's up there. Mainly, it's more performance than, than anything. Yeah, yeah, performance costs, bro. Yeah. Performance isn't, is performance not cheap for a diesel? No, it's really expensive. A yeah. set of injectors cost me about seven grand. Just for the injectors? Yeah. God, 7K? Yeah. See, and the uh, stage two trans cost me about, I paid last year about nine grand for the trans. So nine grand for the, for the stage two trans. Uh, what was that? Trans. Trans. Now nine, nine K for the trans and then another seven K just for the injectors. Yeah. So alone that's already like what? Sixteen thousand dollars, right? Yeah. And just including the engine parts and labor. Yeah. You know, that's what people say about like the diesel, like how about the maintenance on the diesel? It's a lot. A lot of people say the maintenance is a lot. Not really. You just gotta keep on your oil change and yeah. stuff, fuel filters. Okay, okay. Yeah. So it's not that bad. No, not as bad. Okay. And hey, what about MPG? Uh, right now, before I put the 24s, I used to get 24 to 26 to the gallon. No but shit. right now, I'm only getting 12.8. <laughs> yeah. So you said from 24 to 12.8. Yep. <laughs> On a good day, I'll get roughly 18. Damn. How much does it cost you to fill this thing up? Uh, right now, with the market, about $120. 120 That's not too bad, actually, bro. Um, what you run, 93? Uh, yeah. Or diesel? Uh, no, I'm tripping. No. <laughs> Y'all heard me, Thompson 93. <laughs> Red fuel. <Yeah. laughs> I'm driven. But nah, man, this truck is pretty dope. I appreciate you letting me ride along too, man. Yes, I, I like this joint. What's this right here? Uh, that's the people that I run the head up. Yeah. What's that, your uh, club? No, the rock, rock lights. lights. Oh, the rock lights, okay. Yes. Okay, the rock lights. And one more thing, I mentioned club. You said you're part of a club, huh? Or yes, I'm part of Team Empire. Team Empire. Elevated Empire out of uh, Michigan. Michigan? Yes. Oh, um, dang. Okay. Okay. So I'll put that, if you send me that too, I'll try to put that in there as well, man. Yeah. But this thing sounds amazing. So watch how you take this turn right here. So you, I'm going to see how the wheel, you say you only get about. Oh, that's a pretty good turn. Yeah. It's not rubbing at all. No. Okay. You just okay. got to be careful, like on the inclines, like if I go on a, like, one of those, I got to yeah, like, yeah, yeah. turn them really Okay. Sharp. I was going to say, bro, since you got your, you, you got your own business, right? and getting here to where you at. One piece of advice or like one motivational quote or something you live by that kind of help you get to where you at and get this. Mm. It's, it's an on the spot question, but I like to keep my channel like very positive, mm -hmm. you know, like, and let people know, like you can get any, you can do anything you want if you put your mind to it, you got goals. Yeah. So what would be that one thing you would recommend to? Just always never think negative, you just always think positive. Never think negative, always think positive. So regardless of what it is, just think positive. Positive. Anything okay. you want, just work for it. There y'all go, man. Anything you want, work for it. And like a lot of people don't realize, bro, like 
it don't come overnight. Like no. my truck and where I'm at now took me shit like seven years to get here. You know, a lot of people just see you now and be like, oh man, you just this person. But like, I ain't always been here. You know. Yeah. So y'all heard what he said. He said never think. I always keep a positive mindset. Is what he's trying to say, basically, man. Appreciate you, man. Mm -hmm. Let me ride along, sir. Yes, sir. We've been trying to link up. Angel behind the camera. Appreciate you, player. I appreciate you, man. All right, guys. Y'all make sure y'all go check out. Follow Joy. Joy six seven. Joy six seven. Instagram and uh, TikTok. Instagram and TikTok. And then Angel, you, let me get you. Want to shut your stuff out, bro? You got something back there? Uh, Angel twenty four V. Angel 24V, guys. Y'all make sure you go follow. Uh, go ahead. Go follow both of these guys, man. Check them out. Thank them for coming on to the channel doing this. As always, it's your boy Q. That's all we got, man. We'll catch y'all next one. Man. Say peace. Peace. Say peace out, Joy. There you go. Angel, let me get you. Peace. There you go. <laughs> One day from society's restraints, money, clout, and fame, mud disease, a plague. We all love to hate, have to play the game, have to make a name. All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy. Think that it was meant to be. Living in a time where the